Hello? Can you hear me now? How about now? Uh, hello? Ah, yes. Cell phones. Do you remember that day when you forgot your watch and you kept looking at your bare wrist trying to find out what time it was, but it was nowhere to be found? Well, today, cell phones are the new dictators. No longer time telling you where to be, but your grandma calling to let you know you're late for dinner. Last time you forgot your cell phone, I'll bet you had phantom vibrations in your pocket. Don't worry, it happens to all of us. That brings me to today's discussion point. How cell phones have created a media for musical persuasion. Let's have a look at some examples at how the history of music has persuaded humanity. Who was the greatest? Who was the best of all time? So try to remember a day when you called a telephone and it sounded like a telephone. It's probably pretty hard to remember. Nowadays it's In the Club by 50 Cent or Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake or God forbid Crazy by Britney Spears. People probably aren't trying to persuade themselves with their own ringtones. But nowadays I can set a ringtone for when somebody calls me. Say a company like Best Buy gets their hands on that technology, you'll be listening to The Price is Right every single time you call them. Let's take a look at a more interesting example. Picture Susie. She's been dating a boy named Joe. She likes Joe, but isn't sure how far she wants the relationship to go. She's about to call him. Let's listen to what she hears. Wait, let's look at Joe's perspective. Joe's hanging out with some friends talking about how he wants the relationship to go further, if you know what I mean. All of a sudden, he gets a call from Susie. And you thought I was pulling your leg. Now, as persuasion goes, this isn't limited to cell phones. But as technology increases and cell phone holds information such as what kinds of things you like and where you are at that particular moment, that ability will create a medium of an orchestra that you won't be able to plug your ears to. 